Welcome to our, to our Get Clean event. I'm Fran, and I'm a grandmother, and this is Heather, and she's a mom. I want to tell you a little story. When our granddaughter was two and a half years old, young like that, she loved to be in the kitchen with me, and she loved to help me. Uh, we have white cupboards in our kitchen, so I am always grabbing the spray bottle full of safe cleaners, and I'm washing those cupboards. She wanted to help me, so I gave her the spray bottle full of safe cleaners, and she's going washy, 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 washy on the cupboards, and then she's going wipey, wipey, wipey with a towel. It just warms a grandmother's heart. <laughs> Here's the point. I felt safe giving our granddaughter these cleaning products because I knew that they were safe. Would you feel safe giving your children your cleaning products or your grandchildren your cleaning products? That's what we're going to talk about today, safe cleaning products. Today we want to cover three parts of the Get Clean products. First of all, we want to talk about why we need safe products and how these are safe. Secondly, we want to talk about the effectiveness of products. We don't want to spend a lot of time cleaning. We want products that work well. And three, we want products that are cost efficient. We want to save money on our products. We can have powerful cleaning products. We just don't need them to be toxic. Do you guys know what kind of cleaners you have in your house right now? Does anybody have certain brands that they like or have some ideas or not really care, maybe, <laughs> what kind of clean, as long as they clean? <laughs> Does anybody know what ingredients are contained in those cleaners? My guess is probably not because the federal law does not mandate that, you, that the cleaning companies who make the cleaners disclose what ingredients are um, contained in those products like they do on food labels. And it's kind of ironic because we're eating those food things and you know all those are going into our, our bodies, but yet we're cleaning with these chemicals and other things that you know are coating our surfaces and we're touching our hands with and yet they don't need to tell us what we're using in those. In a few moments we're going to share with you exactly how to get clean using safe, effective, and cost-efficient products. Before we do, I just wanted to tell you a little bit about myself and why I'm so passionate about using green cleaning products. My name is Heather, as Fran said, and I'm a mother of a three-year-old and 11th month old and they mean the world to me. And this all kind of started a few years ago when I was working at a national health and wellness magazine. And we did an article on toxic cleaning products. And after gathering all of that information and reading the article, I went home and looked at all of my cleaning products and realized they were toxic. <laughs> so I was wanting to change those out immediately, but I wasn't really sure what to replace them with. So I had to do a little bit of research. And at first, I started going to, you know, saw some green cleaning products at the store, tried using those, and I found that they were a little bit more expensive, and either they contained chemicals in them still, even though they were, you know, claiming that they were a green product, or they weren't really working very well. So I did some more research, and I found some recipes for making my own cleaning products. And... As you know, much as they, they were working all right, but I just did not have the time, especially with two little ones running around. You can probably imagine how much time I have on my hands. <laughs> um, I, I just didn't have the time to, to mix things and you know, all the buckets and the spray bottles and to prepare everything. So that just wasn't working anymore. Then I found Shackley and I immediately noticed that the, they're very cost effective because their window cleaner costs pennies. I was very impressed with that. So I thought, you know, well, let's give them a try. And I tried to immediately fell in love with it. They work amazing. My house is clean. They, you know, no dirt anywhere. And I feel safe, you know, having those in my house because my little girl's go in my cleaning cabinets and stuff. I don't have locks on them anymore. And I don't have to worry about, <laughs> you know, turning my head for just one second and having that be the second that my 11 month old takes a drink of a hazardous material. Um, would anybody like to find out a little bit more about their cleaning products and why they might be hazardous? Okay, before I talk about the safety of these products, I just want to tell you a little bit about the Get Cleaning Kit. This is the Get Cleaning Kit, everything that you see up here. And the wonderful thing about this cleaning kit is you can just swap this out and get rid of all 
the cleaning products that are in your home. Everything that you clean in your kitchen, there's products here for that. Everything that you do in your laundry, include, including the laundry soap, there's products here for that. Everything that you clean in your bathroom, there's products for this. So your whole house can be safe. Okay, now let's talk about the issue of safety of these products. This is a list of some of the common chemicals that are in our cleaning products. There are many, many chemicals in our cleaning products, but this is some of the common ones. And in this list are things like sodium hydroxide, uh, butacellosol, hydrochloric acid, uh, ammonia. These are very dangerous chemicals, and they cause problems for our families. The, as I said, the rise of asthma is up 83% in the last 30 years. All of those products, all of those chemicals that I just named affect the respiratory systems. When I taught school, which was in the 70s, I taught school for 10 years. And in those 10 years, guess how many students I had with asthma in those 10 years? One. One student in those 10 years. Now look at the classrooms. When you go into a classroom, there will be two, three, five kids in every single classroom with some type of respiratory system and probably using an, an inhaler. If you will picture the, the leading selling window cleaner, it has these chemicals in it, in the leading uh, window cleaner. So when we're spraying that around, first of all, it's getting into the air, right? And our family breathes that. Secondly, do you know how little children touch the windows and even kiss the windows? So see, they're getting exposed to those chemicals. Now picture the leading detergent for dishwashers. Picture that there's these same chemicals in that leading dishwasher detergent. We eat off of those plates, and again, we're in contact with those chemicals. Picture those little kids sleeping on sheets and breathing in those chemicals every night. See, that breaks my heart, especially since there are alternatives to uh, these types of cleaners. When I was first introduced to the Get Clean products, uh, that was 30 years ago, we had two little girls and a blue-eyed baby boy. We, our second daughter had eczema, and it was suggested to me that maybe my laundry detergent contributed to that. Well, I was shocked because you know what I was buying? I was buying this very expensive detergent with a baby on the label, and it was so marketed as baby friendly. Well, I mentioned this, and they said to me, check the ingredients. So I checked the label, and sure enough, there were the exact same ingredients in that very expensive detergent as there was in the other detergent. It just had a baby friendly picture on it and baby friendly marketing. So we can't be fooled by, by marketing, because, you know, marketing is there to sell the product, right? I, I have a degree in marketing, <laughs> and I know that they do a lot of different things, like with, you know, oh, well, there's these byproducts over here, and we can't use them for this, but maybe we could figure out another cool product to make with them, and, you know, right. then, then we're still using them, and we're making money off of the, our trash. I switched to the Get Clean laundry detergent, and my daughter, her eczema got better, and after some time, she was no longer bothered with it. I think our homes should be the safest place in the whole world. Heather is now going to tell us the effectiveness of these cleaners, how well they clean. I have a couple demonstrations that I'd like to show you. The first one is to use some bright red lipstick. And I'm going to just smudge it on the mirror. Ooh, sorry, Fran. <laughs> <laughs> kind of bent your lipstick there. <laughs> and then these are the um, basic H wipes. Just going to take one of these. Just wipe it right off on the mirror. See how well that comes off? No grease left, no nothing. The next one is just using a little bottle of water. I'm going to open that up. And then I have some iodine. Hopefully I don't spill this. OK. 
Okay. Got that colored. Let's just shake this up and get it all mixed. So everybody can see that that's colored. And then we're going to take some of the Nature Bright. And probably don't really need to shake this too much, but shake that up and look at the iodine is all gone. The stain is removed. The Get Clean kit is really a smart kit. It's smart because it is so cost efficient. We all like to save money and this is a great way to save money. The concept of this kit is that all of the products are concentrated. And that's great because we can not only save money, but we also save the environment. They're green. So when we're throwing things into the environment, we're throwing things into the garbage, we're, we're discarding less of them. Another concept to kind of understand is dirt is dirt. Whether it is on our windows or on our floors or in our bathrooms, it's dirt. We just need a different amount of a concentrate to clean whatever we need. And that's the concept of the Get Clean. This is one of the products in the Get Clean. It is our household product, and you can just mix different amounts of this in these wonderful spray bottles that we have, and you have a different and you have a different cleaner. This is our window cleaner. You put two ounce, two drops of this in 16 ounces of water, and you have window cleaner. And it is non-toxic. Your, your children can help you clean the windows. If you look at the leading window cleaner, think of the leading window cleaner again. And if you think of that leading window cleaner, I went online and it's on sale this week. It's on sale for $5.54. It usually costs $5.99. So here, let's compare the cost. $5.54, two drops. What do you think is a better deal? <laughs> the same thing is true with our all-purpose cleaner. Uh, if you want an all-purpose cleaner, you're just going to add a fourth of a teaspoon in here. If you use this only for uh, all-purpose cleaner, you can make 48 gallons of all-purpose cleaner from this one bottle. So you're going to add a fourth of a teaspoon. Again, it's safe for the children. You're spraying it in the air. It's great <laughs> because there's, we're not polluting our air. Uh, pennies, pennies for all-purpose cleaner, and as Heather demonstrated, it works very effectively. So in terms of the cost-effectiveness of these cleaners, there's nothing better that you can buy. All right, who's ready to have a safe, cost-effective, and clean home? If you guys are ready, we have forms up here for you to fill out. You can get started right away. If you think that this might not be for you right at this time, that's okay. But all we ask is that if you could tell all of your friends and family, anybody that you might know about the next showcase that we're having so that we can help educate them about our green products and that there's other options, let them know. They have a choice as well. That would be great. In fact, we're so passionate about this and we think that it's so important that we're willing to give a free mini Get Clean kit to anybody who hosts a Get Clean party in their house. If you guys have any questions or if you'd like the forums, we have that and thanks for coming.